hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ornella and i am back with another video now i know this video is quite different and new to my channel but some of you guys asked for it so here it is i am going to show you all an easy way to apply polygel for an at-home manicure let's get into it So y'all, I have with me one of my dedicated clients and let me just tell y'all, if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so because on this channel you get everything DIY, easy to do, do it yourself, everything and more. So the first thing I'm showing y'all here is some of the items that you're going to need. So I am going to use an electronic file. If you do not have one, then you will just need a buffer as well as a nail file. So this what I have is a 150 grit. You will also need a cuticle nipper and of course a brush to brush away the dust. And I'm just showing you all here some of the nail tips that I'm drill tips that I'm going to use. So the first thing that you're going to do is to start working on those cuticles, guys. That's the first first thing you're going to do. So what I'm doing here, I'm using this cone bit to get down into that cuticle and remove all of that gummy cuticle so the cuticle sometimes is very gummy and sticky and it's what causes lifting so if you want a really sturdy manicure to last you two weeks and more then you're going to need to remove those cuticle now i'm going to show you all um if you don't have the drill you can easily use a cuticle pusher and push back those cuticles very carefully guys because it can hurt yourself or your client or anyone that you're doing it can hurt them if you go in there and remove that rough so you're going to need this is my cuticle pusher so i'm just showing you all and I'm going to take it and push carefully, push back her cuticles. Now she had a lot of cuticle to be removed. It was sticking on her nail bed. So we really had to get down into that cuticle. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do some cuticle work. Guys, please know that it may look a little rough at times because the video is sped up so remember take your time remove the cuticles and this is a very this is a vital step in getting your manicures to last
So after you have pushed back your cuticles and you got it clean, you're going to take your nail file. So I'm using my electrical file, but you're going to take your nail file and buff over the nail, your nail bed and make sure that all the shine is removed from your nail bed. And this is just to ensure that your extension is adhered effectively onto your nails. Next, what you are seeing me doing, I'm actually removing all that dead skin from around the cuticle to ensure that you just have a smooth, beautiful look at the end of your manicure. So when I remove the cuticle, when I buff the nail, sometimes that dead skin, it is loose. So you can easily clip it off, but you want to be very, very careful when you're doing this step. Some nail techs, they do not do this. There's also a bit that can be used, but if you're doing this at home, you're just going to be very, very careful when removing that dead skin from around the cuticle. So I'm just showing you how clean her nail bed looks and it's ready for our extension. So the first thing I'm showing you all what I'm going to use, I'm going to use these full cover nail tips by McCart and this is one of my favorite nail tips you guys. Yes, I'm showing you all my um, handle there. So go ahead and follow me at La Push Petty. Um, I'm also showing you all um, I'm going to use primer on her nail and the primer guys just ensures that you get a longer ex a longer wear with your extension Next I am taking my nail tips. I already measured out her nail tips I am going to use this poly gel. I got this from a local distributor here in Trinidad and I'm just using of course you would you can use a poly gel brush that you would get with some of your poly gel kits but i'm using um, a brush from that i bought from shein and i'm also using 99 percent alcohol so with poly gel it's a very sticky product so you're going to you're going to need a slip solution so sometimes they would come with slip solution you can also use base coat gel base coat or you can also use alcohol so I'm going to use alcohol and what I'm going to do y'all I am going to just place my poly gel at the bottom area of the full cover tips just to cover her nail bed so this can also be called the lazy girl method here on YouTube where you put the poly gel under the nail or under the nail the full cover nail tips and this is just an easy way to apply your extension because what I love about the McCart full cover nail tips is that it has a very natural curve y'all so at the end you will see the nail actually looks like her nail and that is the effect that we want so i kind of zoomed it up here and as you guys could see i'm pressing it down to her from from the beginning of her nail and i am just removing the excess that have spilled over her nail 
guys if you can see i will show you all some more how i applied it but i am not doing the full lazy girl method where you use a colored poly gel or whatever color gel you desire and you put it under the entire full cover nail tip but that's not what we're doing this afternoon we're making it very simple and easy we are just putting the poly gel where the nail bed ends and after we clean around we make sure there's no poly gel on the skin we're going to flash cure for 15 minutes so of course you would need a nail lamp a uv or lead nail lamp y'all and i'm just using this one from model ones that i had about a year or so and I'm just, I love to use this one for flash cure because it, it really gets the poly gel hardened for full cure. Just to hold it there until I'm ready to do a full cure. And as you guys could see how natural that thumbnail looks and it looks clean. It has a natural curve to it. So I'm just showing you all again. I'm placing it carefully. I'm holding it there so it doesn't move. I am removing the excess poly gel and I am flash curing for 15 minutes before I put it into the big lamp to get a full 60 seconds cure. So I'm flash curing it for 15 seconds, sorry, 15 seconds and then I'll put it into the big lamp so that it can get a full 60 seconds cure. After the nails have been cured for 60 seconds, it's completely dry and what I'm doing here, I'm taking this barrel drill tip and I am just removing any excess poly gel that might have slipped off that I didn't get to wipe off and I'm also blending in that nail tip into her cuticle area so basically what this does it makes it gives a, a smooth appearance a clean smooth appearance um, as though it's her natural nails right and it also seals the cuticle area to ensure that no no lifting occurs so what you see me doing there i'm just taking off some poly gel that have um slipped through the cracks and then i'm blending it out so we have a smooth clean look Next, just as what we did with the nail bed, the natural nail bed, I am taking my hand file and I am gently, I know this looks rough, but I am gently taking, removing all the shine from on the nail tip. I'm also reshaping these nail tips because it was a little broad. So you can also, you can either leave it like that or you can reshape for a, a nicer, tailored look When I have finished filing, 
puffin shaping I'm going to clean it with some isopropyl alcohol and then I'm going to use a gel base and I'm going to apply the gel base onto these nails so I love using gel base when I have to apply gel nail polish because the gel base just leaves a smoother cleaner application so I'm just going to apply my gel base and I am using this gel um, nail polish from model ones because I love it I love this brand as well so I am just using model ones gel nail polish and I'm putting it on all her nails also guys the base as well as the gel nail polishes it would also add strength to these nails so sometimes when you apply gel polish you sometimes have to reshape the nail after the polish is applied because it leaves it's basically layers upon layers so it also adds for strength of these full cover nail tips although they are pretty sturdy but if you would like you could also add Add another coat of gel nail polish for strength what I'm doing here we was contemplating on the colors now she loved beige and bronze and only nudes so I was contemplating with her trying to get it to take a color but she she didn't break y'all so I decided to do a marble a brown marble and oh my gosh I'm so happy that I did it um so what I'm doing here I'm taking different shades of bronze nudes and of course white for the contrast and I'm putting it all my <coughs> sorry y'all on my palette and I'm going to take an ombre brush but before i just took a dotting tool and i kind of swirled the colors not mix it but i swirled it and what i'm going what i'm doing here i am just floating those colors on top of the nail so i'm going to try to zoom up i think in the other one i zoomed up but i'm just floating those colors onto her nails making sure that i get all around the nails all around the cuticle areas ensuring that it doesn't touch the skin but i don't want to mix those colors i just want to float those colors over her nails so it's really simple it's a simple simple technique a simple way to get that marble look and I love using this technique because it, it's really fast and simple to do there are different techniques that you can use but I love this one so um let me write I zoomed it up here so what I'm doing I'm just gently taking those colors with my ombre brush and I am floating those colors over her nail now some areas where I find it needed some more brown I would pick up the brown and I would just float it some the way I thought needed some more white I would float it and that's what I'm doing I'm just floating it down the nails and if you guys notice that I'm holding her nails at a certain angle that's because there it, it's a lot of colors that I'm putting onto her nail and I do not want it to flood the cuticle area so I'm holding her nail downwards so that I can flow those colors and it will not flood her cuticle area Now after I apply the marble, I put each nail for 60 seconds because there are a lot of polish, um, gel polish that I'm putting onto these nails so I want it to be fully cured 
because then you will have a lot of wrinkling you'll have the nail chipping and trust me guys it happened to me already before so i know to give my marbles a fully 60 seconds cure So right here we were contemplating on what colors to use on the other nails so she went with a dark brown and I tried to talk her out of it to go with something lighter for us to do some gems but she thought it would have been too much because well she loves her nails really plain so as you guys could see I'm facing her nails down and I'm applying a thin layer of gel polish because we want that polish to cure fully for a full 30 to 60 seconds so that it will not get any wrinkling or chipping here I'm applying the second coat and this is basically the end um, we just have one more step to do and I'm going to let you all enjoy it So here you have it y'all this was such a beautiful set she loved it look how natural it looks and last step is to put on the top coat and once again I'm using this top coat from model ones one of my favorite top coats after I apply the top coat I allowed it to dry for 60 to 90 seconds and we ended up with such a beautiful set it looked natural and it's an easy way so this method is a very simple way to uh, to use your poly gel if you were, was wondering you know how to use poly gel this is a very simple way to use poly gel it is strong it is sturdy your nails once you follow the steps your nails are going to last for over two weeks or more so just like your acrylic nail set would last and yeah you guys could definitely try this at home comment down below tell me what you guys thought about this set if you loved it if you like the color next time i may do like a colorful set for you guys but y'all comment down below tell me if you like this content if you would like to see more and I will definitely do it for you guys I really enjoy doing this set it looks so beautiful on her so natural so y'all don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time Ooh.